in my presentation I addressed uh, basically two topics. It is a very, very challenging market and uh, so a little bit on you know, what are the market trends uh, and what the EGL has done to, to address those, our response to, to this challenging market conditions. Um, um, and, and secondly, looking a little bit into the future with regard to the energy transition that is happening and how that is affecting the market. Um, very briefly on, on the market uh, trends, um, we, we still see that this is very much an oversupplied and heavily debt burdened uh, market um, and uh, we're not too bullish on, on, on how this is market will go in the, in the future. Um, regionally looking pretty good, globally a lot more uncertain. Um, what the NVGL has done is to, to become leaner and meaner, as I said in my presentation. We've uh, focused a lot on, on working more digitally and more, much more finding new, more efficient ways, ways of working. Um, when it comes to the energy transition, this is something that the industry is now slowly waking up, up to. Um, uh, basically, what we're seeing here is, is kind of that oil will, the oil demand will plateau uh, in the 2020s, uh, and this is basically peak oil, and that the energy, global energy demand uh, also will peak in the 2030s. What this means for the oil and gas industry is that um, kind of there will be, will be less demand, and of course, for the oil and drilling industry, there is still a need to replenish a lot of the kind of declining reserves that are there, but uh, moving into to, to, um, 2030, there will be less, uh, less drilling activity uh, as oil demand will, will start, to, start, to, uh, start to reduce. Um, and of course, this is a new reality for, for the industry that we're in. Good morning, everybody. Um, Radon Tovic speaking uh, from uh, DDW, uh, DP World Group company. Uh, today we had a, a very interesting start. Uh, my key opening was about situation in Jacob in the region, Middle East. Where are we seeing the demand for oil and gas and how we are going to develop uh, this in the years to come. Uh, our position, our belief from DDW is that we see not only positive signs, but we see a uh, trend of improving in jackups. There will be uh, certainly uh, growing demand, and we as DDW are prepared to provide services and to cater new technologies for the market and for the users in jackups and the industry. Thank you. I believe that the OGMA conference is one of the best gatherings in the shallow water drilling industry in the Middle East. It is very hard to find so many, so much of knowledge and talent focusing on the shallow water anywhere else in the world. What this OGME brings to this conference over here in the Middle East. You have drilling contractors, you have jack lift boat providers, you have regulatory agencies, you have classification society, and you have the end clients. I mean, where else can you find such a great gathering with so many technical and commercial minds together at one place? So, kudos to OJME. I think it's a fantastic experience. Everybody should be in this, interested in this industry, should be a part of it. Thank you.